Let's check out Auto Kit. It's formerly called Sure Triggers from the Sure team. And basically, it's like having Zapier or N8N built into your WordPress website. This is powerful. So I'm going to show you some of the highlights and how to get started easily setting up automations, workflows, and even AI agents into your WordPress website. And real quick, just to be completely transparent, this is a sponsored video. So I'm only gonna be showing you how it works, how to get set up and get started, the highlights, but I do gotta note that I did purchase the LTD myself way back last year. And I have been using this on my own personal Lightbox Academy website, which is why I am really happy to share this with you because this is powerful. All right, let me show you how this all works. The first thing that stands out and what makes AutoKit different from other similar WordPress tools is that it is completely cloud-based, meaning we have everything in the cloud, just like Zapier, like Make, like N8N, meaning this does not impact performance at all. Also, check this out. This is my dashboard inside AutoKit. This is on the AutoKit's website. Here is a WordPress website that I have where I installed the plugin and connected my account. It is the same exact thing. Like the workflows are going to be the same. If I add a workflow in my website, let's create a new workflow. I'm just going to call this testing and let's create it. Go over here. Let me refresh this. And we're going to see now it is all cloud-based. We see our testing workflow up over here. So you could do all of the work in either your website or on the dashboard. Here's where it really separates itself because you could treat this like it is Zapier just built for WordPress. For example, it doesn't have to be all about WordPress apps. Like right here, I got an automation connecting Circle and Todoist. Nothing to do with WordPress. So if I were to go in in my workflow that I created, I have one set up when a new member joins, then an automation gets set over to my Todoist creating a task, letting me know to welcome the new member. Right here, I have my Todoist. Let me shrink this up. I'm gonna put it side by side just to show you how this works in real time. And now if I were to go over here to test my action, let's go ahead and run this automation. Well, you can see immediately the task gets added. And because of this, I've been able to replace Zapier with AutoKit. Now, if you were to use this for WordPress, like what I have here, this is my own personal website. I am using Fluent CRM on my site. That's what I use for my email management. And again, I have a trigger set up with Circle. But the difference is when you install the plugin on your website, instead of having to go through webhooks or anything a little bit complicated, you know, setting up APIs, it finds and connects to tools that are already installed on the website, especially when you get to things like WooCommerce, which you're gonna check out as soon as we look at the AI agents coming up soon. But first, this is something that I do have to point out because I did make the decision to leave Zapier. I've been with Zapier for years, but I felt like like every year my bills were getting more and more expensive. I felt like I had more limitations put on me. Like, you know, for $240 a month, I'm only getting 750 tasks. And all of a sudden I found myself running out of those tasks within a week. And then they want us to upgrade and it, it just got ridiculous. That's when I ran across sure triggers at the time, you know, they changed their name to auto kit. And from there was able to get the LTD, which at the time of making this video, the LTD is still there. So I got the business plan personally. It's been a great investment, but even if you were to check out similar tools, when you start to add up those monthly expenses and then also factor in, they're really not built for WordPress, but with AutoKit, I mean, it kind of had the best of both worlds. And this is the other highlight with AutoKit. Not only does it have all of the WordPress tools, like everything inside of WordPress, it has everything else as well. You know, everything from Claude, ChatGPT to like everything you would expect to see in something like Zapier. At the time of making this, it has something like 1200 apps. If you go to N8N, I don't think they have this many inside N8N at this time. Like right now, okay, look at 
they have more apps than any of them. Now, if we are building websites for clients, this could be very valuable as far as creating more services with automations and managing those automations for our clients. We can manage them directly from our dashboard inside of AutoKit. And from inside here, we could also set up our folders. You don't even have to install this on your client's websites. You could do it all from here. And just a heads up, right now, automation services are on a rise. If you are looking to earn more and to grow your web design business, I highly recommend starting to look at how to automate and how to add AI agents and workflows and starting to create these extra services because clients are starting to request them. And now that leads us on to AI agents and MCPs. So let's take a look at an AI agent. I'm going to go to my website and then from here, we could go and get started with recipes. Now recipes are gonna be pre-built workflows and this will help give you some ideas. Like right here, check out this workflow. This is with WooCommerce, somebody makes a purchase, we're gonna have an invoice get sent out and perform multiple actions. Let's go ahead and give this a try. And this is just to give you an idea of what an agent can do on your website and taking it a step further. We have a good example. We have WooCommerce, an order gets created. Right here, you can see a bunch of different actions, like a product gets reviewed. You can set something up where you're leaving a custom personal, sort of personal, because AI is gonna be doing it, but you could create that customer experience by sending them a message when they review your product. And you could even set parameters, like if it is a positive review, you send them a thank you. If it is a negative review, you can send a message basically with chat GPT asking, what did you find was a challenge? How could we improve? So we could have this set up where an order is created. You could create an invoice. This has a setup with Zoho, but you could use something else like let's say FreshBooks. This is something that I use right here. You can set this up and then we have our agent. What the agent basically is, is like a digital assistant that you set up, you give it instructions, and it could perform a multiple amount of tasks. Right here, you can see this is a very simple prompt, but you could go ahead and add to it, and then it's gonna create all of these actions right here. And then we could connect this with our own ChatGPT account. Then we could perform multiple actions, giving it a prompt. So this, again, this is getting really powerful. We could set up these more complex, but more helpful workflows for our clients. Imagine your client, you're setting up a WooCommerce shop for them. They're managing everything in their Google Sheets. They have a separate CRM. They have a separate accounting a platform and you're able to connect all of those for your client. First off, how much is that going to help your client? What kind of value is it going to add then? How can you start charging for that? So this is with the AI agent. This is just to give a good example. And we could take it so many steps further because you could go to your actions and let's see, we have apps and we could take a look at all of these 1200 different apps. Now let's check out the MCPs because the AI agent, and let me just try to make this really simplified to describe both the AI agent and the MCP server. Your agent is going to be like your digital assistant. Your MCP server is basically going to be like an API created for your AI agent. With the MCP, we could go ahead and connect it. Let me just call this one testing and let's create this server. Now from here, we could connect some tools. First, I'm gonna look for WordPress because that's what I really wanna connect this to, to the MCP inside of WordPress, which is basically an API built for an AI I agent. And then in here, you can see all the different actions that are already set up for AI agents. I mean, we could add taxonomies to a post. Let's say you have a very big blog. You never really added categories to it, but you want to fix it up or a client asks to add a bunch of categories. Well, you could go ahead and connect this and let AI like ChatGPT, Claude, go through the content and choose the right category based on the categories that you give it and assign it directly inside of WordPress. Like it performs the action. Not only does it choose the right category, 
for that blog post, but it actually creates it. That's what the MCP does. It allows your AI agents to make actions inside of the environment, the tool that you're choosing, which is basically all set up for that AI agent. You can see there are a lot of different things you could do here, and I suggest to take time, go through this, because this right now is the future of WordPress and basically just everything in our industry. It is something I believe all of us should get very familiar with, and a good start is just to see what is happening, what is possible so we could do something like let me go down we could do something like create a post and let's add that okay we need to select a connection and okay i could choose a site so i have both of my sites that have the plugin my personal site i'm going to use a testing site and i will add the tool now let's go back over here because here is the next step. When we have this all set up, we're gonna go click on these three dots to configure, and now we could set up and connect our AI with it. We could connect our LLM, and we have these options at this time. We have Claude, we got OpenAI, ChatGPT, even cursor so we could connect it you would need to go to your developer settings based on the platform that you're using it has all the information down here all of the steps but once you get this all completed which will take its own video in itself check out the auto kits videos on their youtube channel they already have some tutorials showing this but basically what this could do is you connect it to claude you write your blog post you edit it, you make it, you know, fine tune it so it's not like written by a robot. And then you could go ahead and publish it straight to WordPress without having to copy and paste, without even having to be on your WordPress website. It's just there to save you a lot of time and to streamline your workflows. And that is the MCP server. We can go a lot deeper. If you do got questions or want to see something more complex, let me know. I'm happy to geek out and create more of these, especially with the AI agents. They are so dope. Again, though, check this out with the apps. This, again, is the whole cloud-based thing that I feel really makes it stand out is when you do connect your app, let's say you connect it on one website or you connect it directly inside of your AutoKit dashboard, well, you have your connection set. So when you do create, let's say, another website or you need to create another workflow, you don't have to go through that process of connecting your API to your app. It's already there with your credentials. And this is only scratching the surface on what is possible. I did get a discount code just for the Lightbox community. So check out the discount code plus a link to get started inside of the description. And if the LTD is still around, my suggestion is to go with that LTD. It's one of the ones that's already been paying off for me. Well, that's it for this video. I would love to hear your thoughts, your ideas, any questions that you have, just leave those inside of the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.